catfished. She thinks he's cheating, and he still has a dating app profile. But the question is, can Cat catch, catch him? Catfished with Cat Fisher and Kiki Love. All right, so we've got Tyranny, and you've been with your boyfriend, Chris, for almost a year, right? Yes. So I know what's going on, but bring Kiki up to speed. Like, how did you guys meet? Why do you think he's cheating? What's the deal? Um, I don't know. I mean, he's always sort of struggled with self-confidence, and uh, I guess he's just sort of always felt less than, and, and like, he thinks that, like, I'm way better looking than him, and... You know, he calls himself a six and I'm a ten, you know. Is he a six? (laughs) (laughs) No. And so I was trying to, like, be a good girlfriend, boost his ego a bit, and I made him a Hinge account just for fun, just to, like, show him how many girls would find him attractive. So a few days later, you know, he had a dozen matches. I thought, like, my work was done. I'm girlfriend of the year, whatever. And then I went to check um, later, and then he had a bunch of messages. He had been messaging his matches and, like, flirting with them. And then when I asked him about it, he denied sending the messages. And I'm just like, how stupid does he think I am? Like, who else sent them? Right. You guys obviously are the only people that have access to the account. Yeah. And of course, now that I have mentioned it, I tried to look at it again and he changed the password. So clearly he doesn't want me to see what's on his Hitch account. Anything else out of normal? I mean, yeah. Like, honestly, anytime he whips out his phone, like, I kind of am like, oh, is he on his? Just, like, talking to all these girls. Like, what kind of, like, Pandora's box have I opened here? And then he gets all weird about it. And, you know, previously in our relationship, neither of us have, like, passwords on our phone. Like, we were free to, like, go through anything. And then yeah. we, we wouldn't, though, just because we trusted each other. And so just you know the fact that he has a password, I really feel like has created some, like, physical distance between us. Well, I... Tried to find Chris with my fake account, Ashley, on Hinge. Of course, the profile's there, so I did find him, and we matched. Oh, gosh. Not only did we match, but he asked for my phone number, and we've been texting, and he's super flirty. While he has not tried to actually set up a date to hang out, he's definitely acting like he's single. Are you serious? <laughs> um, so... Wow, okay. I thought he was just messaging them. I didn't know he was, like, asking for numbers. Maybe that's been an evolution of his hinging since he changed the password. Now that he feels comfortable, like, you can't see what he's doing. I don't know. Like, that's just, ugh. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to think. Well, I'm going to call him, like I'm Ashley. Okay. And I want you to hear how he interacts with other girls. And you can, you know, I'm going to try to see if he will actually set up a date to hang out. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I feel like that's probably what's going to happen. So. All right. Are you ready? We're going to, we're going to call him. Uh, Yeah, I guess so. Hello. Hey, Chris. How are you? What's going on? Um, hey, Uh, what's up? I don't know. I was just calling because we've been texting and I wanted to just talk to you a little bit more. Is this a good time to talk? Um, I guess. I don't know. I'm sorry. This is kind of weird. I just, I didn't expect you to call, especially. Uh, Wait, have you never had a girl from Hinge call you before? Yeah. I've, and I've never actually, I've text messaged it with girls here and there, but I've never met up with anybody. I've never even talked to any girl on the phone. This is the first, you're the first girl I've ever talked to on the phone from Hinge. So, <laughs> so maybe I'll be your first Hinge date then. Um, what are you thinking? So maybe we do something that's kind of informal and like coffee. You could come to my place and I can make you breakfast. (laughs) Well, we can meet up somewhere and like get some drinks or something maybe. Yeah, let's go out for drinks. Um, I don't know. When are you available? Are you available this weekend? Yeah, I'm free Friday night if that works for you. I'm kind of excited that I'm going to be your first hinge date. Yeah, this is kind of exciting. (laughs) (laughs) To me, it's cool that you're not hanging out with any other girls. Like, there's nobody else that I'm competing with. Yeah, no. No, there's nobody else I'm even talking to. Oh, that's perfect. Wondering um, if you'll have to run any of this by your girlfriend, Tierney, before we hang out, before we go out on Friday night. Hi, Chris. Tierney? 
Yeah. Uh, what? You're telling some random girl from Hinge that you're single? Oh, my God. I cannot believe you. Wait, what's going on? How are Tyranny? So, Chris, Tyranny, been- this whole thing has been a setup from the start. This is not Ashley that you think that you've been texting with from Hinge. This is actually Cat Fisher from Kiki and Cat in the morning on 103.5 Kiss FM. Kiki's here as well. Yeah, what's up, Chris? I feel like we've met before, but we can get back to that later. <laughs> this whole thing has been a setup. Oh, you've been catfished. Wow. I yeah, you. I made a Hinge account for you, and you're picking up girls. Mm-hmm. And like you said, you didn't even want to meet up with them, but actually you're saying you're single. You're choosing to do dates. Like dates with alcohol, which obviously lead to more than just talking. Um, are I wasn't you actually going to meet up with a girl. Okay. Uh, you I, told was... her, I don't care if you weren't actually going to. You were like, oh, there's no one else. I'm single. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, I mean, actually, you know what? It is true because you're sure as hell single now. Like, I can't even believe you. I was trying to do something nice because you were like a sad little puppy. Oh my God, Tierney! I'm. I swear, I was not going to meet up with her for real. I just, she caught me off guard. I did not expect her to call me. So she I caught didn't... you off guard. What if she caught you off guard and she was naked? Would you just have to sleep with her or something? Like, are you serious? I don't care if you weren't actually no, all through ne- it. No, the I, fact I, that you I even took her call, her. you should have been like, "Oh, thanks, sorry. Um, I have a girlfriend." Actually, that phone call should never have even taken place because you should never have even exchanged numbers with her. I swear to you, I. There's nothing was going to happen. I wasn't going to meet up with her. I, nothing would have happened. There's no possible chance that doesn't I would matter. Ever it's, I'm more upset about the fact that you it. lied. I don't care. You can say that as many times as you want. You're still, you know what? Maybe you should go on dates with, on Hinge now because, uh, or on Tinder. All of them. Talking to me, Bagel, Bumble, go on all of them because obviously you love doing it and uh, you're newly single, so go for it. I was caught off guard. You sound such an idiot on the phone, by the way. Like, who taught you how to speak? Like, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, bye, Chris. Just in his defense, I will say that in listening to Ashley was really probing where most guys would have been like, well, yeah, maybe I can come over and do breakfast, or, well, yeah, maybe I could take it to your house. He didn't do any of that and seemed... Like but he what? was still going through with it, Kiki. Tyranny. Chris was going to go through with it. He could have just been like, oh, I'm sorry. Now's not a good time. Can you call back later? Like, he didn't have to answer and talk to her on the phone for five damn minutes. Like, that's never happened to me before, and I did not. I didn't know. I didn't want to hurt yeah. her feelings. I felt like. You know, I, I this obligated. has never happened to me before, so um, bye. I am so done. Like, this is ridiculous. It was just nice to get attention, and I. I'll delete the account. I, I'd rather just, to be honest with you, just talk about this in person. And I'd like for us to be able to work this out. Your word means nothing to me now. And uh, this is just a little too little too late. So sorry, but uh, I'm done. Tierney, is there anything, the, is, is there anything that Chris can do? Uh, I'll take the password lock off know. my phone, whatever you want. I just don't want to be with someone who can't be man enough to be like, thank you for the call, I appreciate it, but I actually have a girlfriend. That's fair. It was fair. a real girl. It was a setup. You're, it was not just like, you're, uh, I'm sure her name's not even really Ashley. It's no, Ashley. yeah, no, there's no, no, there's no Ashley. <laughs> Welcome to the program. That's not even the point. The point. That's not even the point. Okay. Another successful catfish. Hear it again anytime with our free app. Kiss FM Boise in your app store.